all hazards. Station WNG597, operating on frequency 162.40 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is transmitted from an antenna located in LRB. The station serves the western Sand Hills and southern Piedmont of North Carolina and adjacent South Carolina counties. Here is the latest weather synopsis. A cold front will move through central North Carolina tonight, bringing an end to the above normal temperatures. An upper level system will bring rain and little more than a dusting of snow on Sunday. High pressure will then build across the eastern United States with moderating temperatures before a flood brings widespread rain on Thursday. Here is the latest National Weather Service forecast for LRB and vicinity. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. South winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming northwest around 5 miles per hour after midnight. Sunday, mostly cloudy. A slight chance of rain in the afternoon. Much cooler with highs in the upper 40s. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Sunday night, mostly clear. Much colder with lows in the upper 20s. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Monday, sunny. Highs around 50. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Monday night, clear. Cold with lows in the upper 20s. South winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming northeast after midnight. Tuesday and Tuesday night, clear. Highs in the upper 50s. Lows in the mid 30s. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 60s. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers after midnight. Not as cool as lows in the lower 50s. Chance of rain 40%. Thursday and Thursday night, showers, breezy. Highs in the lower 70s. Lows around 50. Chance of rain 90%. Friday, partly sunny. A chance of showers in the morning. Cooler. Near steady temperature in the mid 50s. Chance of rain 50%. Friday night, partly cloudy. Much cooler with lows in the mid 30s. Saturday, mostly sunny. I'm loving weather down here. Here are the 5 p.m. observations no. for the southern Piedmont and western Sand Hills. They're getting in the camera! At Albemarle, it was mostly sunny. The temperature was 69 degrees, with 2.33, and the relative humidity yeah. 27 percent. The winds were southwest at 9 miles an hour, and the speed of 16. The pressure was 30.04 inches rising. At Wollingburg, it was mostly sunny.
in 2017. Today's low temperature was 39 degrees. This low was 2 degrees above the normal low of 37. The record low is 3 degrees which was... Fell today, which leaves the monthly total at 0 0.79 inches. This is 0 0.35 inches below the normal amount of 1.14 inches for February. The total precipitation for the year still stands at 4.99 inches, which is 1.30 inches above normal. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 58 degrees, and the normal low is 37. The record high for tomorrow is 80, which occurred in 2020, and the record low is 8, which occurred in 1973. Sunset tonight is at 5.57 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.04 a.m. The Fayetteville Climate Summary for this evening, as of 4.33 p.m., February 12, 2022. Today's high temperature was 69 degrees and the low was 38. Move my no precipitation around as you can see. The total is 0.82 yep. inches. The total precipitation for the year is 4.87 inches. Sunset today is at and I did and sunrise tomorrow is get at another computer. The air quality forecast for Sunday in the Fayetteville area is 35 or code green. Air quality is good with a primary pollutant of small particulate. Here are the 5 p.m. observations. The report from Lumberton was not available. In Fayetteville, it was partly cloudy. The temperature was 66 degrees, the dew point was 38, giving a relative humidity of 35%. The wind was south at 9 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.03 inches and rising. Here are the weather conditions around the Carolinas. At Sanford Lee County Airport, it was clear, with a temperature of 67. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Maxton, 67 at Southern Pines, 66 at Greensboro, and 65 at Goldsboro. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70 at Raleigh, 68 at Elizabethtown, 67 at Florence, 65 at Wilmington, and 63 at Cape Hatteras. At Myrtle Sunset Beach, it was now. cloudy, with a temperature of 58. Here are the 6 p.m. observations. The report from Lumberton was not available. In Fayetteville, it was partly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees. The dew point was 39, giving a relative humidity of 41%. The wind was south at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.04 inches and rising. Here are the weather conditions around the Carolinas. It was clear, with a temperature of 62 at Southern Pines and 62 at Sanford Lee County Airport. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62 at Maxton, 66 at Raleigh, Sorry if the and 63 at Greensboro. Bad. It was mostly cloudy, yeah. with a temperature My of 64 low. at Elizabethtown, 64 at Florence. I've been using it Goldsboro, all day now. 62 at Wilmington, and 60 at Cape Hatteras. At Myrtle Beach, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. A few showers will accompany a cold front Sunday. Cold high pressure will build in late Sunday into Monday. A warming trend will get underway thereafter with very mild weather by the end of next week. Rain chances will ramp up in increasing onshore flow as high pressure moves off the mid-Atlantic coast and cold front approaches from the west midweek. And now taking a look at the forecast for the local area. Issued at 3.35 p.m. Tonight, mostly sunny early, then becoming mostly cloudy. Lows in the mid-40s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, partly sunny in the morning, then mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain in the afternoon. Are still over there. in the lower 50s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Off the radius chance of rain 20%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain in the evening, then mostly clear after midnight. Lows in the upper 20s. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Monday, sunny. Highs around 50. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming west in the afternoon. Monday night, clear. Lows in the upper 20s. South winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming east after midnight. Tuesday, sunny. Highs around 60. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper
upper 30s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 60s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a chance of showers after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday, mostly cloudy with showers. Highs in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 80%. Thursday night, showers likely. Lows in the mid 50s. Chance of rain 70%. Friday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers in the morning, then partly sunny in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 60s. Chance of rain 50%. Friday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 30s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 50s. The Lumber in North Carolina climate summary for this evening, as of 4 p.m., February 12, 2022. Today's high temperature was 70 degrees. This high was 12 degrees above the normal high of 58. The record high is 81 degrees, which was set in 2017. Today's low temperature was 39 degrees. This low was 2 degrees above the normal low of 37. The record low is 3 degrees which was set in 1973. No precipitation fell today, which leaves the monthly total at 0.79 inches. This is 0.35 inches below the normal amount of 1.14 inches for February. The total precipitation for the year still stands at 4.99 inches, which is 1.30 inches. And we inches moved the red lighted tree while we did in the theme song. We moved that over there. And the normal low is 37. The record high for tomorrow is 8, which occurred in 2020, and the record low is 8, which occurred in 1973. Sunset tonight is at 5.57 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.04 a.m. The Fayetteville Climate Summary for this evening, as of 4.33 p.m., February 12, 2022. Today's high temperature was 69 degrees and the low was 38. mini bow. No precipitation fell today, and the monthly total is 0.82 inches. The total precipitation for the year is 4.87 inches. Sunset today is at 5.55 p.m., and sunrise tomorrow is at 7.03 a.m. The air quality forecast.